Speech that is unnatural is very common in kids with autism. For example, if you teach a child with limited speech open door, they might overgeneralize it and say open door even if I'm trying to get them to say open bottle. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Barbera, autism mom, board certified behavior analyst, online course creator, and best-selling author of The Verbal Behavior Approach. Each week, I provide you with some of my ideas about turning autism around. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do that now. Today, I'm sharing a small excerpt from a recent live Q&A session where I give you tips about what you can do to help a child with unnatural speech. Jerry said, I have a two two-year-old. No one said his functioning level. I've completed all the units and homework. Excellent. Congratulations. He's working well with an electronic and food and drink, but not as well without them just doing the shoebox, toys, and puzzles. We should have a BCBA working with us soon. Excellent. He's doing some unnatural speech things like says open door, even if it isn't a door, says up and then da and then add down calls all the shows he likes, Peppa, Peppa the Pig. Any suggestions on how to address these? I also watched the pointing video and he's improving with the skill and will point at things, but he doesn't look back at me, join attention. Is this something you can teach to look at someone after he's pointed? He also gives me things, but it's almost like I'm done with this. You can have it as opposed to, hey, look at this. Is this something that can be taught? to give and share, or is this a higher skill? All excellent questions. Congratulations for finishing the course and doing all the homework. Congratulations for moving forward and trying to get a BCBA. That's a big feat. Um, and then the unnatural speech, uh, open door, even I remember with my son, we taught him open, well, we, we taught him open cabinet um, to get the pretzels, but we did like so many trials of open cabinet without me knowing that you can't just target open cabinet because then when we were trying to teach him to open a bottle or to say open bot open bottle, he would say open cabinet. So he was over generalizing and having conditional discrimination errors. That's why it's super important to stick with one word responses um, and build skills as naturally as possible. So I believe somewhere in this course is two word pivotal phrase sheet. If it's not, um, I can post it in the files uh, section of this, but this is why I don't teach carrier phrases ever. Uh, this is why I'm very careful about teaching um, even two word, uh, you know, even the two word pivotal phrases, because you really have to be careful, have good programming. I like to let language develop as naturally as possible. So, um, I would caution you about, you know, so, so say you're, uh, say you're by not the door, say you're, you have something and you want him to say open or open bottle. Now he's saying open door. So I would just drop it back. So he says open, open door. And I would be like, Shh, open. And I wouldn't string it together with any other word open. So even for doors, um, I might scale it back. And, and if I would pause and before he says open, open door, I would even go open, open, and then I would generalize it with a box. Um, but don't generalize and teach open box because what he's showing you is he, he needs to just go with one word. So here I would be like, put something fun in the box and I would prompt open and he says open. Now if I say open and he says open door, no, no, listen, listen, open, open, good open. What should I do? Open. And then he gets the reinforcement. Um, and then, you know, uh, a favorite drink open, open, and then the door. So 
scale it back. I know it feels like you're going backwards instead of forwards. Um, also Google Mary Barbera carrier phrases. I'm a big proponent on letting learning language develop, especially for a two-year-old. Wherever you're watching this, I'd love it if you would leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, share this video with others who may benefit. And for more information, you can attend a free online workshop at marybarbera.com forward slash workshop. And I'll see you right here next week.